For every choice, there is an echo. With each act, we change the world. One man chose a city, free of law and God. But others chose corruption, and so the city fell. If the world were reborn in your image, would it be paradise or perdition? Welcome back to the Bioshock The Complete Story. In this episode, we'll be covering the overall plot of Bioshock 2, which takes place 8 years after the events of the first game. If you need to refresh your memory on what's happened in Bioshock 1, here's the link to our video. You should be all caught up now, so let's begin. In this game, Tenenbaum has briefly returned to Rapture once she realizes that someone is continuing her work by enslaving new little sisters. Through flashbacks and audio recordings, we learn that the player character Subject Delta, who is the fourth Big Daddy created, is forced to commit suicide through the use of the hypnotized plasmid by Sophia Lamb. Why would she do that, you may ask yourselves. For those of you who skipped on the prologue, I'm disappointed in you, but let me fill you in. Lamb was originally brought to Rapture to help psychologically stressed citizens of the underwater city cope with the lack of sunlight, and use persuasion to entice her patients into a cult called the Rapture Family, and attempted to spread her selfless ideals throughout Rapture. Andrew Ryan discovered this through Stanley Poole and had Lamb thrown in prison, leaving Eleanor in the care of Grace Holloway. Eleanor eventually confronted Poole about his betrayal of her mother. Poole panicked, kidnapped Eleanor and left her in the little sister's orphanage, eventually leading to her conversion into a little sister. Lamb later returned to the city, reclaimed her daughter from Delta, and gained control of Rapture after Ryan's death. Alright, now that we're on the same page, let's keep going. Lamb turned the aging little sisters into more dangerous big sisters and sent them out to the Atlantic coastline to kidnap little girls for conversion into new little sisters in Rapture. Eleanor, now a teenager, has gained control over many of the Little Sisters and uses them to revive Subject Delta at a Vita Chamber. Delta is drawn towards Eleanor by their past Big Daddy Little Sister connection. When Tenenbaum encounters Delta, she explains that unless he reunites with Eleanor, a failsafe device will trigger and put him into a coma. With Eleanor and Sinclair's help, Delta makes his way towards Lamb's stronghold. As he progresses, it becomes clear that Lamb is seeking to use Adam to transform Eleanor into a perfect embodiment of her selfless ideals. Lamb's ultimate goal is to have the collected minds and memories of everyone in Rapture become a part of Eleanor through the use of the genetic memory in Adam, thus making her an embodiment of the family which Lamb believes will put an end to the self. Delta arrives at the containment chamber where Eleanor is held, but Lamb captures him and severes his bond with Eleanor by temporarily stopping her heart. Eleanor survives, but Delta is now slowly dying as the bond cannot be re-established. Eleanor uses a little sister to bring Delta a plasmid which allows him to control the sisters, thus enabling him to bring Eleanor a completed big sister suit to become one. 
She then escapes with it, rescues Delta, and together they head for an escape pod that Sinclair has arranged to leave Rapture. The two of them find that Lamp has converted Sinclair into a big daddy and Delta is forced to finish him off. They finally make it to the pod when a final trap set by Lamb mortally wounds Delta and starts to send the entire building into a deep ocean rift. Eleanor teleports out of the explosion to the rising escape craft, but Delta is trapped on the outside. Using the last of his strength, he manages to grab onto the side of the escape pod and climb to its top as it rises. And Eleanor, trapped in the pod with her mother, makes the choice to either kill or save Sophia Lamb based on what she's learned from your actions. Now, there are several possible endings depending on how you perform during the game. Rescue all the little sisters and spare the lives of the NPCs Holloway, Poole and Alexander, and you save Lamb. On the other hand, harvest the little sisters and kill all the NPCs, you will allow them to drown. With that being said, when the pod reaches the surface, Eleanor finds a dying Delta barely hanging onto the pod. Depending on how you've chosen to deal with the little sisters, the ending will change. If you've harvested them all, Eleanor will absorb Delta's power and use it to make herself even stronger to dominate the world alone. If you've rescued all of them, Eleanor will absorb the atom from Delta, taking his mind and memories into herself and leaving Rapture behind forever. You will always be with me now, Father. Your memories, your drives. And when I need you, you'll be there on my shoulder, whispering. Utopia is not a place, but a people, then we must choose carefully, for the world is about to change. And in our story, Rapture was just the beginning. If you did a little bit of both, Eleanor will go against absorbing Delta's Adam and more is passing. The Rapture dream is over, and in waking, I am alone. Mother, I left behind. And you chose to die rather than to have me follow you. But you gave me the greatest gift of all. Something I have never had. My freedom. There is no name for what I am, but the world is about to change. I thought we would seize it together. Yet, as I sat there with you, I wondered if even I could be redeemed. Sacrifice gave me hope, but Father, wherever you are, 
I miss you. Again, guys, messed up ending if you ask me. Let me know which ending you got, if it was a surprise to you or if it was on purpose. Next time, we'll be covering Bioshock Infinite and its lore. In the meantime, we've got a lot of complete stories you can go through. We've got Metal Gear, Zelda, Resident Evil, or if you've seen them all, what about our comedies? Or our Let's Play channel? Go subscribe, you won't regret it, I promise. As always, thanks for your support, guys. We'll see you all next time.